So we're hiking up this jungle trail here in Wulai. This is one of my favorite spots to go. Uh, the jungle is nice and lush, and there's always cool creatures to be found. The trail is pretty straightforward, an easy walk. Once you get about halfway, there are not too many people, just the odd day hiker. Justin. The rocks can be quite slippery, so best to cross with caution. A robust Kajika frog, Burgeria robusta. Grey by day, but after dark it will be bright yellow gold. The beauty of having a hammock is they're so lightweight and so easy to put up and down. And they're comfy too. We've got ourselves hung up on a nice little river terrace in the jungle. So it's time to start thinking about dinner. Fire is lit, food is prepared, grill is ready, and the burgers frog. Lucky for the frog, we're doing burritos tonight, not burgers. Here it is, a camp burrito, even with hummus. What better way to let dinner settle than a cup of tea? So I'm boiling water and some green bamboo directly on the fire. Works quite well. Throw in a tea bag. Let that sit for a bit. Throw in a bit of milk. And there you have it. Camp tea. Not bad. Needs sugar. Do you want to try it? Cheers, lad. So we're just surrounded by Berberia frogs. Check this out. These are all frogs sitting on the rocks. Their eyes reflecting back. Hundreds of them. Uh... Look at them. Now. I've never seen anything like it. All these frogs out on the rocks, hoping to make a friend. Here you can clearly see the difference between the males and the females. Males are much smaller, females are much larger. And the males are incredibly gold sometimes. Look how bright yellow that is. Beautiful. On that note, I'll go take a walk in the forest, see what else I can find. Check out this beautiful golden marzipan millipede. You can tell a millipede from a centipede because it has two sets of legs per body segment whereas a centipede has only one set of legs per body segment. A friend of mine nicknames these marzipan millipedes because they produce a hydrogen cyanide compound that smells like marzipan, it smells like almonds. In fact that's where bitter almonds get their flavor is from the cyanide. So yeah these guys are poisonous. They're beautiful and quite large but completely harmless unless you eat them. And what kind of walk in the jungle would it be without a green tree viper? The vegetation here is quite dense so it can be hard to see much beyond the small space on the track or anything that happens to be sitting up on a bush. Check this out. It's so cute. One of my favorite snakes. Piraeus arteal, arteal slug-eating snake. This is just a tiny one. It's a little baby, look at it. It's so small. Very docile snake. They eat snails. Check out the color of this one. It's so yellow. Golden snake. Beautiful. 
I'm going to hold it back up on the bush. They come in various shades. This one is the tiniest and the most yellow one I've ever found. The way they ambush their prey is pretty cool too. So they sit up on a leaf like this, with their head down underneath, just watching with their big eyes for any snails that might be slithering down below. A sleeping bird. It's getting pretty late, I should be doing the same thing. Time to head back. Well, didn't see a lot tonight, but some cool creatures nonetheless. A lot of yellow stuff, a lot of gold. It's been pretty cool. Say goodnight to the burgers frog and get to bed. So it turns out we have a viper living in the tree, right where we tied our hammocks. It's kind of cool. Keep watch over us through the night. Anyway, good night. Good morning. As it was with setting up the hammock, taking it down is just as easy and straightforward. And you can see just how small and compact it packs up. Well, time to walk back out. It's a little overcast this morning. Hopefully we'll get some sunshine before we get to the end of the trail. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Until next time.